Well, you know, I mean, our country has gone through so many wars throughout its thousands of years of history that, you know, it's in our blood to rebel against anyone trying to really put us down, you know. And especially with what's going on right now, it's not something that's unique or different than what's going on in the rest of the world. You know, they, they, they're really trying to make a difference for their own country and in any way possible that should be, you know, some sort of inspiration for anyone watching that on the news or even if it is propaganda, just seeing that energy of, you know, they're not gonna, we're not going to take it anymore, we're fighting back. And, you know, everything that's going on in this world, in my own opinion, you know, it's just a mirror of how we see ourselves. We allow this stuff to go on. I mean, we're the only generation out of our whole history that has allowed things to happen this way and it hasn't done anything about it. And even though we try, you know, we allow the media and the propaganda to put us down and, and brainwash us into thinking that what we're doing, you know, is going to end up with no, um, you know, cause, you know, for mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, so it's it's what we're seeing about and talking about. I mean, it's it's really just what's going on in the world. I mean, I'm sure every band feels that way with their own lyrics. But what we see is 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 really that people need to start standing up and they need to start using their voice and they need to start saying fuck it. You know, we're not taking this shit. This is our fucking generation. If we don't do anything about it, it's just gonna keep going down. We're gonna become bigger slaves, and it's not gonna get any better if we just ignore it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And you guys, like, um, I assume you guys are familiar with the artistic communities over there. Like, I know Vexarchia and a couple other places. Oh, you like, know yeah, Vexarchia? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, have you been there? Like, or, uh, you know, I, I'm, I mean... Um, yeah, you, you know, Vexarchia is in the middle of um, Athens. And uh, it's a very, it's probably the coolest place in Athens, really, you know. And um, you can just sense the freedom there. And Exarchia is the, the safe haven for all the rebels in Athens. So, cause, uh, I'm sure you follow a little bit of what's going on in Europe and what's going on in Greece, especially a lot of it right now in Greece, the, the whole economic crisis is going through. I mean, the people are going through you know, terrible things, so they go and they protest in the center of Athens. So a lot of the times things lead into trouble. Somebody's going to throw a rock at the SWAT police or at the riot police and somebody's going to, then they're going to throw some tear gas and then it just goes, hell breaks loose, then mo Molotov bombs and then just they break cement blocks and marble and just like, and, and there, it's like a, 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 like a guerrilla warfare going on downtown in Athens. So the only place to actually escape and hide a lot of, in Athens, let's say, there, it, it's through the streets in Exarchia because there's a big university in Exarchia. And the one right that the people have and the police doesn't have is they cannot enter university territory. So if you want to escape and hide from g the government, you hide in the university campus so you go to the campus like you go to the campus right, it's the refuge from yeah so no one can enter that that, that the police the military the no one no one we don't have that law here so we that's need that law one here. right that we have in greece that we're trying to keep so anytime we need to escape or for any reason you know and a lot of times it's just to get away from from all the tear gas and all the brutality that the police yeah does the, yeah. the right police and to escape that, you just have to go into the campuses and just hide out in there, wash up, clean up, get put yogurt in your face, and and we Maalox, the, the stuff that's for for uh, for acid reflex. Mm -hmm. You put that in your face, and it keeps the tear gas from from uh, from going into your skin in your eyes. Wow. So you just put it all over and absorbs it. So it's a good that's a good trick to do. They kind of got their own little community, the anarchists there. I mean, I wouldn't really consider us anarchists more anarchists from the inside, you know. Mm. We've not, I mean, you can fight all you want, but that wall is still going to be there, you know. And you could break that wall, but those bricks are still going to be lying there until someone comes along and just builds that wall back up.
I mean, what's important is that you have to start building, you know, your own wall from the inside. Make it sturdy enough that no one out there can affect it. I mean, I mean, what difference does it make what politician you vote for? They're all going to screw you in the end. What difference does it make, you know, it, when you start giving the attention to yourself and you start making yourself strong enough that these things won't affect you, that you can live your life to its purest and strongest. I mean, what we're doing, we have no backings. We come from all poor families. We have no, you know, musical um, backgrounds whatsoever. You know, we're all self-taught. And, I mean, yeah, we've had people from all over the world tell us, you know, you're not good enough or, you know, you can't do it because you don't have the basic foundation there. But we took a chance and we sold everything we could and we decided to live our dreams whether people believed in it or not because we believed in it. And we're changing our own destinies through it. And it doesn't matter what other people say about us. It doesn't matter, you know, if these people, you know, will book us or not because we know that there's always a way if we believe in ourselves and that's what's been lost it's people believing them themselves you know i mean it's easy to say fuck you to a person and the other person say fuck you but i mean when you say fuck you you know i'm not taking it anymore and that person find, will find that energy to do it for himself you know it's, it shouldn't be a battle between the egos it should be a battle for yourself to rise yourself up i'm just bad no that's that was good that was good, that was good. Yeah. I, I, I heard over there you were talking to somebody about uh, you're actually from Crete. I live in Crete. I'm, my bloodline isn't actually Cretan. I'm from an island called Kefalonia, which is um, um, in the Ionian Sea, which is between Greece and Italy, mm -hmm. where Corfu is, and there's like seven islands there. Um, I'm from. My mother's from Kefalonia, and um, my other part is Ithaki, it's Ithaca, where Odysseus. Came oh yes, from. Yeah. very familiar. Um, but I, I live in Crete. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just know Crete from Minoan history yes. and us, but like... It's unbelievable, you know, if you still go to the beaches of Crete, if you, you know, go with a snorkel, you might still find artifacts. I mean, on the more populated areas, it's much more difficult, but like Crete is just so vast and it, it takes you a lifetime to discover. And there's all these coves and everything and there's just mineral ruins everywhere. The whole island is just... And that, I mean, that civilization was over 3,000 years oh, yeah. ago and there's still artifacts lying you do walk on the street you pick up a part of pot, piece of pottery it's unbelievable it's really just a magic it has to place. be amazing sometimes I mean most of the time we, everybody wants peaceful protests but it, it's hard because I don't know it, a lot of it is kind of set up where you're gonna see undercover SWAT and right police dressed as protesters right, right. starting the riots starting yeah yeah, yeah. the, the, the agent provocateur yeah, kind exactly. of thing. to break up the, the protest so if everyone's doing a peaceful protest and all of downtown Athens is closed off right what happens is oh, but there, there's nothing can run businesses can't work so there's big traffic jams so the only way to disperse the crowd is to cause chaos and the way they cause chaos the police goes into the crowd and act like protesters and start and then that whole crowd mentality when I'll throw something and then somebody's going to see me and he's going to get the courage and throw something and then all of a sudden they start they, they, they have that little spark let's say so then it's just like right so I mean, it's all this. Shit. That's interesting. That's yes. like really interesting, yes. though. And then and they do that to, in order to like cause chaos and, and break up the the protest. So either and all these survivors, they go there and they protest because you know the government, the public, the pol the banks. Yeah. You know. The big business. They yeah. they they want to uh, to sell off Greece. You know, so the the Greek people are kind of standing up. So all these like. People from everywhere will stand up and go and do a peaceful protest, and they'll bring all their grandchildren. Right, they, right. These old people that have been around for years. So what happens is they go to the protest, and it's it's amazing. It's beautiful. There's music, concerts, um, candles, and flags. Everyone's happy and stuff. And all of a sudden, hell breaks loose in a second. And and then everyone's running around, and little kids get tear gassed, and old people that struggle to, to give the freedom that we have right now in Greece, you know, because yeah. they were there in right, the front right. lines to have what we have, and they're getting beat by the fucking police. Right. So, 
right. even though they're trying to make them seem like they're violent. And this, if you look in the news, all you see is riots in Greece, riots right. in Athens, riots in Thessaloniki, riots in Crete, everywhere, all right. over all these cities in Greece. And all they're showing is like Molotov bombs and right, cops right. like holding <laughs> back with their shields and rocks flying. Right, right. So they're making the it seem imagery. like it's like something terrible, like right. everyone's like the government, it, like the country's collapsing. Right, that's what when it's not. And it's not. Right, right. But that, people, that's what they're selling to the yeah, rest exactly. of the world. The thing is, they're not saying that people are becoming aware in their awakening. There's That people oh, are yeah. becoming, you know, they're, they're seeing what's going on. So uh, one thing that I'm proud of with the Greek people is that they're awake. They're not asleep. So they're not like sheep where you're going to tell them, okay, your country's done, sell everything off, they're gonna, they, they're gonna rebel, and they've always have, and we've been through a lot of shit in Greece. Oh yeah, oh yeah. For thousands of years. Yeah. We've been around for a while, oh, yeah, so oh, yeah. this is like nothing for us. I mean, this is something we're just gonna be there, we're gonna become, we're gonna go up in the mountains, and fucking, you know, whoever wants to come and... And touch us, we're gonna be like, all right, let's do it. Hell yeah. So that's it, we're gonna rebel. It's the people, they don't have a will to fight. She has so many You know, and, and, and that comes out a lot in our music because, because you know, in Greece they're very passionate people and they're ripping up their beautiful city because of how, what they feel, you know, and that they're not taking it anymore. And, you know, we're very blessed to be here. And, Yes, it is. It's it, the whole world is going through the same ordeal, but the people aren't saying anything about it. The people aren't doing anything about it. I think sadly it's because a lot of people don't have the background in philosophy and, and history that, that you guys get in, in. The beautiful thing about our day and age is that we have the internet. Yes. And you know, in other times they didn't know really what was going on, but they still stood for something that they cared about. Nowadays, you can go on the internet. You can check what you really, what, what opinion you really think should get yeah. out there. You can get a philosophy degree on your own, exactly. uh, independently, exactly. without paying anything. Exactly. If you really want to know what's going on in the world, then it's right. just a click of a button which everybody has mm -hmm. accessible to them. You know, and it's not an excuse that, you know, people, you know, are brainwashed by the media because we've always been brainwashed by the media. Right, right. It's a given in any society. Exactly. And they wish for you to be put down. I mean, they wish for you to, you know, not give a shit. They wish for you to feel numb every situation that And they you throw have. more and more distractions. And they so that, yeah. throw more distractions. I mean, the call See him in Italy. Yeah. Why was it made right. so that so that people could stop talking about politics and have a reason? That's the reason why the Colosseum was built. Yes. So that people could stop talking about politics and focus more on who their hero is, what is going on in athletics, mm -hmm. you know? Instead of and, and that's when a lot of the bills got passed, when people were at the Colosseum, when huge, you know, things are going on in the world like, you know, Super Bowl, you know, that gets everyone's attention onto one thing so the people on the outside can turn around and sneak things through. Yep, I mean, yep. that's fine. That's all great because it's been happening for thousands of years. Exactly. But when are we going to say, fuck it, it's not It's not good enough anymore. We're sick of this shit. All the people watching the telly getting fucking brainwashed growing your belly. How long are you going to sit there and cry before you wake up and use your minds? Governments can collapse when the people stand up. Rise against and make it count. Revolution's at hand and here's your choice. To ride and shout from your belly up voice. We started off, you know, we decided to start a band. Just for shits and giggles sort of thing. Because, you know, we... There wasn't really any future. I mean, I was terrible in school. I didn't want to go to college. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my but life. But you still know about all this stuff. I mean, you... you... Well, I, I'll, I'll tell you. I mean... My m going back to what we're saying about Greeks being very like strong, strongly opinionated, they're very passionate people, mm -hmm. and growing up in a country that always talks about politics because you know um, 
philosophy started in Greece, and so they're all about just philosophizing things. Every conversation at the table is about, you know, politics and you know the governments and you know their own opinions, and they're always yelling. You know, they you know they don't hold anything back. They're passionate. You know, they don't care what yeah, other person. Yeah, growing up in that culture, you're going to get a lot of yes, philosophy. Yes, exactly. You're get a lot, yeah. And especially, you know, like I said before, with our our culture right now, it doesn't stand for anything. It's lost. And if you turn on the news and you see all the shit that's going on, and it's right there in front of your face. I mean, they're not even trying to hide it anymore because they realize that people really they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. I mean, in the I mean, you know, for the for all the generations that have demonstrated and done something about you know the politics that are going on in this world, you know, it all it, they had a leader through music. The music right now that's being, you know, filtered through the radio stations and everything, it's just manufactured crap and it's been tweaked to be soft and no passion whatsoever and no message and people wearing masks and are jumping around like everything's okay, that we live in this fake world that, you know, yeah, lollipops and, you know, gnomes and stuff. And it's really quite sad because you can see the state of the world through the music that is in our generation. Generation. So when we, you know, we're like, well, you know, whatever happened to fucking rock and roll? You know, there's all this fucking other different genres of music out there that's getting all this attention that, in my opinion, doesn't deserve the attention they're getting because it's just easy crap that's manufactured and it's easy to be, you know, thrown to the ears of, you know, people that are listening, you know, the mainstream. Mm -hmm. So everything that's going on in this world today, people don't have a passion for. You know, they don't have a passion to stand up and do something about it. They don't have a passion to say how they really feel. And it's because the music of our generation is dull, it's boring, and it doesn't mean anything. I'm like, well, we, we eat rice, you know, we eat bread, you know, we eat bread sandwiches. I mean, what is it, what else do you need? I mean, what? He's like, well, that's cool, maybe we can do that. Well, two of them have jobs. I said, what do the other three do? Because they have five people. Nothing. I'm like, well, then they should work to make money, to save money, so they can go on a tour. Or just quit. And that's the good thing about punk being punk, is you can find DIY routes where you can go and play house shows and get fed and stuff. It is difficult for other people, but I mean, that's what hit them in the face. Oh my God, do I really believe in what I'm doing enough to, to give up my day job and give up my luxuries? If you if you can't, then you don't believe it enough. And if you don't believe in yourself overflowingly, then who's going to believe in you? 